welcome back to another Platinum Warthree. Back onto Platinum Warthrees. This is Fist, forged in Shadow Torch. And I'll be taking through a full Platinum here. It's going to take... I've not done a full run of this yet where I've been going through it as fast as I can. I've been through it a few times on Platinum. And I've sort of optimised the route. But I'm still yet to do my sort of personal best route. But I believe this should take us under five hours. Birthday, Shouldn't hey, take any more. Yeah. And I'll just take this short intro to explain a few things. You can skip most of the cutscenes. There's a bit of dialogue you have to scan through with X. But most of it you can just skip. Uh, you press the options button and it'll give you the option to skip. Um, so, Fist, Forge and Shadow Torch. It's a Metroidvania and most of your in here. They're, they're fairly straightforward. Most of them just connected to 100% in the game. There are a few glitchy trophies. It's been patched. There's been updates. While I'm making this, it's on update 1.03. And um, a few of the trophies were glitched beforehand. And some of them have been fixed. But still, there are still some things that can glitch out on you. So hopefully, nothing will. <laughs> That's all I can say. I have found that if the way the game is scripted is... Um, if you try to do things that are not in order, like if you if you try and veer off the story path too much and do things which they sort of expect you to do a bit later, that can mess things up because there's encounters in this game which sort of trigger when you enter an area and you can't leave the area and you've done that encounter. But if you enter an area earlier than what they expect you to, that can mess up later events. So as long as you follow me, I'm hoping we don't have too much trouble. I'll walk through it all, guys. There are some awkward trophies in this game. Misc trophies. Which can be difficult to get if you don't know what to do. But I will explain them to you later as well. We don't have the map. When you begin this, you do not have the map. So once you do get to get the map, when we do get collectibles, I will stop. Show you where we are on the map just for a second. Just to give you a chance to get your bearing. And I'll walk you through it all, guys. And we've already started, so um, I'm going to stop with that little intro, and we're going to crack on, guys. So, when you begin, you come through Shadow Torch, or the town, the old town it's called, and this machine here, these are where you get your abilities from, your sort of core abilities. And this one, you got wall jump, we've got wall jump already. Yeah, we've got wall jump already, and near the end of this part, we'll get uh, double jump as well. These pig chests, there's two type of these. Well, they're not pig chests, they're more like piggy banks. There's two types of these. You've got the brown ones and the blue ones. The blue ones are a bit later in the game. But basically, the quicker you destroy them, the more money you get from them. And if you destroy them and inflict the maximum amount of damage to them, normally the brown ones, you can get a maximum of 50 from them. And the blue ones, you can get a maximum of 100. We need to get every collectible in this game, by the way, for trophies. Just about. We don't have to get every skill, but you do have to get every skill for a trophy. But you can manipulate that by buying all of one skill, get that trophy, reload, get your money back or uh, data, data cards, get the other skill and do that. we just got plant seed here. I can't show you on the map because we don't have a map yet. But once you do get the map, I'll open up and um, just try and explain to you where it was. So that plant seed in that tunnel, guys, make sure you get that. You see, I'm dashing with R1. With R1, you can't dash through enemies yet. You do get an ability later on that lets you dash through enemies. And them small blue chests, not chests, they're sort of like little blue containers. The blue ones give you a little bit of cash. The orange ones gives you like an EP and an EP capsule. And the blue ones give you a SP capsule. We just got a newspaper document there. Uh, east side newsletter. So make sure you get that, guys. And we're just going to come across here now. You do have to explore all the map, by the way for a trophy so you'll find later on you will likely be going through every single area again so it don't matter too much but while you're going through just try and uncover what of the map you can as you go through HP extract just got that there near the switch the HP extract once you get three you get like an um, extra HP bar at the top you've got three bars but each one's divided into sort of four little segments yes when you max a HP container you will get a full bar with them four little segments inside and on EC there's another piggy bank here a brown one we can't get that one on the left just yet but we can get this one yes I'm playing on EC here guys I've been through this on normal 
It depends with you. If you want a higher difficulty, start a normal first, and if it's too hard, lower it, or vice versa. If it's too easy, higher it to normal. But if you're on normal, the combat, you do have to be sort of strategic. You know, you can't just go running into battles. So you'll find out later on. But that's the map, guys. Finally got a map. Fortunately, there's no mini map, fortunately. So um, you have to just keep opening the map all the time to view it. So what I'm doing here, I'm basically... I'll basically be going from one story objective to the next as quick as we can and we'll sort of collect things on the way that are not too far off the route unless it's something really important but for the majority we'll just be going from story objective to story objective and getting anything on the way and um, uncovering map we just got another piggy bank down there in that tunnel you have to come up here even though you have to go back you have to come up here to progress the story and yeah, each video of this will be about 15 minutes long. I did want to make him longer, but I've just not got much time at the moment to record, so I'm just going to do him in 15 minute segments. Just makes it a lot easier for me at the moment. So just coming back on ourselves now into this little house. Uh, kill these two enemies. On EC, you deal about double damage to the enemies. So if enemies die in two hits on EC, on normal it's going to take about four hits and they deal about double damage to you, but it's a little bit less than double damage. You'll get your first carrot juicy. Carrot juice is like your um, HP, your way, basically your way to refill your um, uh, HP if you need to. You do need them orange bars at the bottom to refill it. There's another newspaper here, newspaper two, I think it was, and that's where it is. Yeah, I'll show you when we collect some. I'll show you some on the map, like that. Show you where it is. And when it comes to money, by the way, do not spend anything. Wait until I spend it and then just buy what I buy. Because even though you do need to spend a lot of money in the game, I'm going to try and use it optimally just to try and make our time a bit easier. Rather than waste it on things that we need later on, I'm going to try and buy things which we need quicker just to make our time for the game a little bit more efficient um, where possible. So this is the gauntlet. You have a lot of these and these what I mentioned earlier where they can glitch up where you can enter certain areas and these gauntlets will not trigger and they can lock out collectibles like I say a lot of these were patched and fixed but there are still some bugs in the game so just be wary, wary of that guys up here there's another sort of blue container yeah I'm always going to try and get these containers where we can just because it's a bit of extra money straight down here and behind this vent is a HP tank by the way, the map I was using, I have done like an overlay on this map with all my steps, um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna post that because it's, it's sort of in draft form. I've not cleaned it up, and I'm not going to, so it'll take too long. But I will link Demogen's map in the description. He's done a real good map on this, uh, just in case you wanna reference that as well as you go along, so you keep on what I'm collecting on there. Yeah, so piggy bank on there, and it's a bit tricky to reach. If you are having trouble, what you can find, like I did there, you can press triangle attack and the triangle attack gives you just a little bit more height. If you jump and then triangle attack at the top of your jump and then dash, once you hit the side of that ledge, you can sort of wall jump up to it, just in case you can't quite reach it jumping normally. In here, we find the Kung Fu Master himself, Master Wu. He's gonna teach you the power punch, deadly weapon. In the right hand. So you got this training dummy. Just got to finish that training. There you go. Pretty simple stuff. You should be able to do that. Easy in, easy in uh, normal difficulty. All the difficulty changes is damage to you and damage to enemies. Basically, it doesn't affect costs off anything or money you get from enemies, anything like that. It doesn't affect any of that. Just damage. That you do to enemies. So there we go. We got a power punch. Now we can punch really hard. If we hold, if we focus all our might by holding the button in, we can punch really hard. And you can use that basically opening doors. You can actually use it to cover a bit of distance as well. If you, if you jump, and then dash, and then release your power punch, and then double jump, the power punch covers a bit of distance in the air. And you can use that to reach areas that you're not supposed to reach until later. But that will that will mess things up. So don't do that. Just follow me guys. 
Right, and another HP extract here. And that's our third one. That's our third one. So we've got three now. And that's filled up a HP extract. And it's got us a trophy. So you can see at the top there, we've got an extra life bar. And we'll be coming up to a glowing red wall in a minute. Now, these are different to your normal sort of vent covers where you can smash them with any attack. These, you have to use your power punch or you'll get an uppercut later to smash red walls in the ceiling. And then later on, you can also learn a pile driver, which is like a ground pound, which will let you smash red flooring, red flooring panels. But here's the second ability, main ability, double jump. Double jump. So we've got double jump and wall jump now. Very original abilities for Metroidvanias. Now these are universal. Everybody needs to be able to jump twice and a wall jump. So over here is another wallpaper. Uh, sorry, newspaper. Not wallpaper. We're not going to use that. Uh, so that's Eastside News, issue 3. Make sure you check out page 3 if you want to see some naked rabbits. So this is your first sort of boss type like enemy. You can see they've got like a boss bar at the bottom. And yeah, on EC, they go down fairly quick. On normal, obviously, it's going to take twice as long. Yeah, fairly quick, but I'm getting damaged here quite a bit. Yeah, when you get when you get when you get hit on this, you get knocked back quite bad, and um, it can stun you for like a good few seconds till you get time to um, get back up and recover. And you find with their attacks, when they're attacking, you do have to dodge them. Sometimes, sometimes I press L1 or R1 thinking it's block, but I get mixed up with other games. Yeah, there's no block in this. You have to get away from their attacks. So you've got a data disc from him and all the money that drops. Always make sure you get the money from bosses because they do drop quite a lot, especially like tough enemies, like elite enemies and stuff as well. So you've got a data disc from him. And come up here. You see this door here? You open it with a fist from the side, the power punch. And on the map, it will show you like a fist icon on the map and like a yellow door. And that will indicate that this door opens with the fist. And then whatever direction the fist is on, the icon, that will show you where you have to, what side you have to open it from the fist. So here we're just going to jump, dash, double jump up to the wall and make our way over to this poster. This is the Amrita poster and that's where it is. Yeah, you need all of these for a trophy as well. Basically anything, anything in the game you need it for 100%. Like I say, except for skills, you need all the skills for a trophy, but you do not need all skills at once. You do not need them all at once. Once you get a trophy, you can sort of reload and uh, get your points back that you spent. So it's making way all the way to the top here. It's just back. We're basically going back to see the Grand Master. And um, he's going to advise us what skill we should be upgrading next in our skill tree. And it's going to be the Rising Punch. Use their strength this time. Yes, Master Wu. Yes, Sensei. I will buy the Rising Punch. So you, you buy skills from these green machines. They're like your save points. And you use repair to refill your health. You just step on it and it will save. You don't have to actually click on anything. You just step on the plate and it will save. Yeah, we need to buy this one. SP skill, Rising Punch. You have to buy this one. It does use one data disc, but we got one from that boss just before. And, but it doesn't cost any money. So, yes, Rise and Punch. Make sure you buy that one, guys. And just before we finish this part, we're just going to head over to this guy over here. This dude. Jingles. And all we're going to buy from him is a HP tank for 50, 50 coins. Yeah, just buy the HP tank. That's all we want to buy, the HP tank. You're not going to buy anything else because it's a bit expensive and we need to save our money for later. And by the way, all these NPCs that you're coming across, they will later on, they will later move into the sort of main hub area, which we'll get to in a few parts. Yes, yeah, so that's it, guys, for part one. Thanks for watching. Like I said, I'm going to keep this nice and quick. Yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you on part two.